and those are like handling protein structure drawing like and molecules then we have seen the preparation of protein and this is what we are up to so let me first uh, share the screen uh, i hope the screen is visible can anybody please confirm if it is yes sir it is visible okay great so as you have seen so for most of you the job got completed i guess for all of you the job got completed that you can see it in a job monitor panel which is present here uh, you can see the status of job which is protein prep one which is protein preparation job and the status is completed and when i say status completed i have also explained about when the job get finished it automatically loads the output of that particular job in the table so you can see there is a new entry coming up in the list in its name is 6b2q prepared so this is what the entry of our interest at this point and the only thing is now this is a prepared protein before it was not prepared protein so you can find out the difference in entry 6 and entry 7 if you load entry 7 in my case for example on the screen you can see all hydrogen hydrogens are added so when i say load the entry on screen it means every time you need to make sure that the, you need to load the entry on screen it means the blue circle must be on in front of that entry and here you can see this blue circle in the workspace navigator section so your entry is highlighted in blue color and the entry also should be present on the screen so you can see there are different entries you can load it at a time one by one but always need to make sure that this particular blue circle is on and this is the thing which you always need to remember every time without uh, forgetting anything so make sure the entry is loaded on the screen means this is what the prepared protein is loaded on the screen so don't do that mistake again and again that some something else which is loaded on the screen and you start doing it so it is completely wrong thing so always need to remember whatever is the latest prepared entry that should be present on the screen okay so i hope uh, you got the point that it should be present on screen means blue circle should be on so now the next step is to prepare a grid for this particular protein structure and prepare the grid is nothing but the process is called as receptor grid generation in which we are trying to define the binding pocket for this particular protein so that we can use that binding pocket for molecular documentation. And in most of the cases, whenever you have a protein structure which has the bound ligand present inside it, means the inhibitor molecule present inside it, it means that is what is the binding pocket which you are going to use it for molecular document. So this is what we need to generate a grid for. So for that, whatever protein structure is present on your screen, it should be prepared one. And you need to highlight the ligand molecule first. So to highlight the ligand molecule, we have a reset button. So which comes exactly at the middle, uh, top middle of the maestro. You can see there is a preset button. You, you simply single click on that and click on apply custom preset. So this is what the option which you need to use it for. Click on preset button and click on apply custom preset. So again, don't try to remember the steps. These are all mentioned in the handouts also. So once you click on apply custom preset, whatever you have initial confirmation, it automatically highlights the ligand and molecule for you exactly at the middle of screen. And this is what is necessary for us for the identification of binding pocket. So if you analyze it carefully, you will see like the ligand is highlighted in the ballistic view gray carbon and all the surrounding amino acid residues are also highlighted along with their names here we can also see what are the interactions present between protein and ligand by using this interaction toggle button which is exactly at the bottom right so if you on that bottom right button interaction toggle button make sure it is blue in color you will also see the interaction so you can analyze all those interactions by rotating the structure. But at this point, our idea is to just highlight a ligand molecule first. 
and now it's time to generate a grid against that so just go to task task is button where you find all the modules so go to click on the task which is on top right click on the browse and on left side you will see the option called glide so this is what the glide option is of our interest to perform molecular talking exercise and all the related tasks so just click on that glide option you will see the first option called task generation so this is the option of our interest at this point which we are going to use it now so just click on receptor grid generation it will open the straight forward panel for you so basically this panel has a lot of things written but don't get confused if you want to read all that information it's perfectly fine just go and start reading all the information and but to specify the binding pocket what we need to do is we just need to see the ligand molecule on screen which is highlighted at first step move your mouse on any atom of the ligand carefully one by one and just the single click on any atom of the ligand and when i say any atom of the ligand literally it is any atom of the ligand you just carefully move your mouse on ligand atom and just single click on that once you single click on that you will suddenly see the all atoms are selected in green boxes it means the ligand is selected and this ligand is selected it means software has automatically identified the ligand and surrounding amino acid residues as a binding pocket and software is going to generate the grid around this particular ligand make the pocket empty so that you can perform molecular docking inside the binding pocket and that's it for now like once you single click on any atom of the ligand you will see such type of view and done you are ready to go for run button but as i explain in morning session before hitting run button there is a bar wheel which is called a job setting button so you always need to go there before hitting run button so just click on this bar wheel on the panel change the lo local host to cpu 320 this is what is important thing which you always need to do do not forget to do this step this is what is also explaining the handout and then click on run button once you click on run button you will see message at the bottom is submitting job and once job started running you'll see now the job started you can also see the same job in job monitor panel and you can see the status of job which is glide grid one and status is waiting it will take like two three minutes and job started running and it will finish so it started running already within like few seconds or just in one minute it will be finished and that's done the very good practice is whenever you are done with the panel any panel just close that panel there can be various other options for example if ligand is not present inside the binding pocket so what to do so for that you need to go to the site panel where you have option to specify the selected amino acid residues like in that case you should know which amino acid residues are present in the binding pocket reported from literature or from experimental studies and you can simply specify those amino acid receiving numbers here you will specify a receiving button so in this way you can use those advanced options also maybe even if you don't know any amino acid receiving in the binding pocket you can predict the binding pockets using site map as the tool so these are the various advanced options which one could use but at this point i suggest you to go with all the default options and once you are done with this panel just close this panel once you close the panel like you'll see uh, on the ligand atoms are now deselected it means panel is closed successfully that's the good practice and you can also monitor the job and see like if job got completed or running so currently the job got completed so once you see this message completed it means done so you you can see like uh, if you double click on that completed you will see there are there is a log file written and which has all the information about output file what is the name of output file which is generated so basically you can't see this uh, output file of grid generation it is in a compressed folder like zip glide grid one dot zip so this is what the information of receptor grid which we are going to use it in next step for molecular docking purpose but if you see message completed it means it is done you don't need to do anything extra at this point so let's try to do it for that, uh, I'm going to share with you the handouts in Zoom chat box. 
just check the zoom chat box uh, i have shared with you the handouts link go to the handout link try to do exactly as mentioned in the handout do not miss any step and let us know if you come across any issue if you have any questions about it so thank you very much uh, we can wait for five more minutes for you to do the job and then we'll proceed for the next step thank you
so thank you for letting me know that it is done so i hope it is same for all of you that it is done and now let's try to so whether anybody has any problem anybody come up with the issue if yes then i think this is the time you can just unmute yourself and let us know or you can also type it in the chat box if you want Three, two, one. Okay. What to do if a job failed? Is there any proper reason that it failed? Yeah, there can be many reasons. As I said, most of the time, like you did not properly load the prepared entry. Load means blue circle must be on in front of that entry. If it is prepared one, then definitely it will uh, it will complete successfully. Just look at the handouts or if you want you can share the screen i'll tell you what is the wrong thing so from dr vikram rawal it says like molecule to large to handle so it means you have picked the protein atom and not the ligand atom so i request you to again go to screen pick the correct ligand atom so just take a look at handouts again you will see like which atom to pick you just need to go to uh, carefully you need to move the mouse and click on, on the ligand atom any more questions okay so let's proceed towards the next step so so far you are done with the complete uh, protein part so when i say you are done with the protein part it means for protein aspect you need to do you need to get the protein structure from let's say protein data bank and then from any source you get the protein structure but you always need to prepare that structure using protein preparation this is what you have done with the protein you run protein filtration workflow and it is done and next step we did the grade generation exercise using the sub target generation panel i hope successfully it is done for the protein it means the protein part is done now let's try to look for the ligand molecules so you have recently seen in the morning session about drawing the structure of molecule in 2d or in 3d so you have seen that structure of molecule and then you have you can use such structure of molecule for process of molecular docking so either you can draw the structure of molecules or you can directly download the structure of molecule from various data sources like zinc data database pubchem drug bank such are the databases from where you can directly download it to use structures and then you can save that file and you can open that file in the maestro and basically maestro support all the file formats so same same way we have already downloaded the structure for you and we have kept uh, those structures in one of the directory on everybody's desktop so it is same at your desktop also the correct path of that uh, particular file is going to be shown in the handout which we are going to share with you and now we are trying to see how to deal with the ligand molecules so the very first thing is i am just loading those ligand molecules which i have downloaded from the database so for that you just need to go to file again at this point don't try to remember the steps this is all all mentioned in the handouts so just take a look uh, that how i am doing it so just go to file and then there is the option to load the structure using import structures so you just need to click on import structures it automatically direct you to your working directory which you have specified in the morning session for example docking so now i need to go to desktop and on desktop there is one folder which is called as data so i need to see that folder so for that i just go to this drop down i go to home user the number can be different for you and in home user you see there is a desktop folder double click on that you will see the data folder on on it like this is the data folder which is present on your desktop just go to inside that you will find there are a number of things but okay it means uh, there is some discrepancy okay let me check uh, if uh, there the file is missing or not 
Yeah. Uh, give me a minute. I'll just check if fine is missing. Uh, missing. So, in the meantime, I would like to go for a poll, uh, minor polls, which I feel is interesting. So, please, all of you, look at your uh, poll question. So, I've launched a poll now. Dear participants, please, can you just guess what is the answer for this? Dear participants, anybody else? I have received around 60 percentage of the response. I know postal sessions are quite sedative in nature. So, dear participants, please, uh, if anybody else wants to add their response, polls not visible. It should be visible on your screen, sir. I have already launched it. Okay, so I have stopped the poll now and I'm going to share the results. So the question asked was, what is the price for master interface? I hope most of you like the master interface and basically